What's good everybody? It's your boy Uvednar back at it again and today I will show you my absolute perfection of a PvP build. I like this way more than my greatsword hatchet that you might know me from. But this is the hatchet sword and shield in medium. Yes, you heard correctly. This is medium. Because I'm a medium Andy and these are my stats. I'm running 200 constitution because uh, medium and 200 constitution is absolutely crazy. With this increase of physical and elemental armor, since we have a lot of that because of medium itself. And also it ties pretty well with this perk as well. Now 150 dex and 200 con are the baselines for this build. Is what you need. The rest you put in strength if you don't have uh, that many points. Uh, this is an absolute must as well for the da dodge. Uh, dodges cost less, a ton less stamina. Because with this build you can dodge for days. And this game, the powerful thing in this game is iframe, aka dodging. Iframe is invincible frame. You are immortal during that frame. Uh, immune to stuns and TC. And that's what we are after. Rest of the points in the strength because our main DPS is mainly hatchet. And hatchet skills mainly from strength. Basically both of these weapons. That's what's great about it. Weapon Mastery for Hatchet. Now, I am running the Classic with Fellow Rush with the Root. But the beauty with this build... I'm not running Classic Shield Rush combo with the Sword and Shield. I'm running the Reverse Stab. So basically with this build, we have a Berserk that's stable with Social Distance to for the Root, Speed and the iframe it provides once again. And to get away from big PvP fights or uh, to chase down uh, range targets. Third skill is absolutely optional. I did try Raging Torrent, I did try Running Throw and Fell Rush. You will see all combinations later on in the PvP clips that I will uh, post at the end of this video. So this is a great burst. Great thing about Raging Torrent, uh, you didn't, you, if you use it from weapons, I used always with Weapon Swap. I use all these skills from uh, uh, Weapon Swap cancelling Berserk. So if I have Raging Torrent, I do classic leaping strike shield bash reverse stab with shield, then weapon swap, animation cancel, berserk into raging torrent. You always get at least one hit on the target, which is already enough because you will proc this haste movement speed on top of berserk. That's 40% movement speed. If you add Zephyr Cake in OPR, 50% movement speed. No one can run away from that. No one. If you add in the slow, it's just impossible. So, if the target, the, the urging torrent is something that no one plays, so it, they are like the uh, catching targets by element of surprise, no one expects that, you, will, you, you, run, you run that, so target can eat even 3 hits of this, which is huge burst, it's a very high attack speed, this raging torrent, more than light attacks, so this could work, rain throw as well, if you don't run this uh, from the uh, reverse step combo, you just animation cancel, berserk into light attack, and you wait for the dodge on the of the target, then you throw that running throw on the rent, and you just go hard with the hatchet. Hell rush, same story, you just use this combo, use a combo from uh, the shield, sword and shield, use weapon swap to animation cancel berserk into light attack, wait for the target to roll dodge, and use your fail rush into the back, most of the times. If it's a good player, he will roll dodge through you or to the side. So you probably want to wait uh, like a second which, to see which direction is the target, doing, target going. I wasn't a big fan of Feral Rush. If you guys know me from the my previous build video in the Hatchet Greatsword PvP build in Medium. But I'm starting to like it more. Uh, it's all about the timing. If you see a target use a skill, you go hard with Feral Rush. Because this skill is quite long animation. It can lock you in that animation. But it's staggers, so if you catch a target using a skill, you know certain you're gonna land Feral Rush, use it. Also, a main thing to highlight is Adrenaline Rush. For this thing, having the lowest cooldown skills possible is the best, right? Because with this, you could dodge for days. Once again, we are all about the stamina, we are all about the invincible frames. Pairs very well with this crit, crit hits with light attacks, give you stamina 10, 10 of stamina as well. Beautiful thing. Sport and Shield. I know I'm not running your classic Shield Rush builds like the 99% uh, of population playing SNS, but I'm a big fan of Reverse Stab. I like the damage it does. I like the 25% cooldown reduction, which allows us to use Leaping Strike either offensively for the stagger or again damage to apply slow, or you can use it uh, defensively as well to get away from big clumps and whatnot. And of course, Shield Bash for the stun, both stagger. It does pretty good damage as well. It's 150% damage with this perk. 
you have active grade on all skills except leaping strike but these are the insane damage uh, abilities leadership for the buff classic keen speed or like haste after using crit or triggering crit that's why you kind of want to stack on crit, crit here as well crit chance 10 percent more damage to slowed enemies very useful you should implement blocking as well uh, i like i do that against range builds arenas for example you will see me here and there block when the arena starts to get some of these procs for empower and then just open open with that also another great thing to note when you're using potions when you need to heal with potions always switch to sword and shield with this perk i'm running divine on amulet and this is exactly like divine so basically i have, I have two divine perks which makes healing potions heal for a lot stamina here on shield bash and shield rush i know shield rush would give that stamina but I just like this one more. I like to live the life on the edge. Since we are this tanky, I don't think we need Shield Rush, uh, which also gives you nice 45. If you have this perk on the shield, for example, it's like over 30% 45. But we are so tanky in this build and we are dodging so much where we won't avoid those, those attacks through dodging, right? These are the perks. Now the gear. I am running basically all items the same, which is Shuriken Fortification, Refreshing, Resilient. I do not run Freedom. I am a huge fan of Refreshing. Again, for the highest uptime of the skills, of the combos. And, you know, this applies to both weapons. That's the beauty of Refreshing. Refreshing Evasion and Ward does not apply to your other weapons, but Refreshing does. This one right here. So, this also applies to low, Lower Cooldown of Berserk, Social Distance, and then your third skill, which is absolutely crazy. So, this is my headpiece. This is my... Um, Armor piece, same story. Uh, the only thing different here is the gloves. I do run Leaping Strike on the gloves and I reverse that perk on my sword, but best would be to switch these two. I didn't find that on piece on the market, so this is what I'm running with. We got regular pens here. This is dropping from a, a cold or named rare or elite in Brimstone Sands. It's all the way left here on the marker from Brimstone Settlement. It's the easiest soluble cat you can kill for these pants. They drop in purple version, but you can upgrade it for legendary. My boots, same story as the other pieces. Uh, this is probably the best uh, offensive shield, I would say. Vicious, refreshing, keenly jagged. I'm running uh, Divine, Stam Recovery, Health. I know most people run a Slash Protection or Thrust instead of Divine. I would like to get Flame Protection maybe instead of Divine, but this is the beautiful thing that very Divine applies to almost every anime build, right? And this does apply to Berserk Heal, Regen Potions, and Heal, heal Potions, as well as Hardy Meal Regen, food above. We are running a uh, ring. If you wonder why I'm running Hardy on medium build, it's because, you know, uh, once again, this game evolves, or uh, is, is evolving around of the uh, high frames, in invincible frames, a lot of dodging. So anything stamina, uh, including stamina, is just the best. That's why we want to stack up on this. There's a lot of uh, stamina hit we have. You could notice my gems on armor, same story there, stem on hit, I'll talk about it in a second. If you don't like hard on medium, you could replace this for another refreshing. So I'm running right now 5, 6, 7 refreshings on a sword and board, a sword and shield, you could run 8. But this is my earring. Uh, refreshing and purifying toasts are my favorite, the perfect duo. If you cannot afford all these legendary items, I recommend refreshing toast and purifying toast on earring. You would want to get Invigorated Punishment and Slash. Here you want Stamina Recovery and Health. All these pieces go with Resilient and Shuriken Fortification. Refreshing is just the luxury, right? Here you would go Resilient Leaping Strike or Reverse Tab. This is my Hatchet, Attunement, Vicious Skill and Powered. Um, I was running some tests with DPS and Enchanted instead of Vicious shows higher damage on light attacks. Mm, this is where our main damage comes from, light attacks from Hatchet. But I did craft this one, I'll stick with this one. No one seems to craft with Enchant and Bari, so it's whatever. We got the sword. Yes, I know you're with your thing again. No attunement? Damn, this guy's this guy's lame. Well, first, this is super cheap. I bought this one from 20,000. There is also a named sword with these perks dropping in Genesis from Mutation 9 level plus. Alright, I'll leave the link in the description as well as my gear. I do have a, a link to the gear on New World Guide. I love that website. They have a great thing going. This is it. A full loadout. Same items. You can see it here. Trophies. I don't really have these, but don't tell them. Consumables when I'm running. 
uh, the heart rune, all the details, st stats, gems, just everything you think about. You think of it. Stats as well here. If you scroll down, we can click up here. 3D modal. You can take a look what your set looks like. It's my stream. Also stream on Twitch, by the way. Uh, you can find my channel on these on this website, for example, in this armor armory. I like to call this new armory. Or you'll find a link in the description of this video. Now this is the masteries I'm using. Both for SNS and Hatchet. Detailed description of the items, consumables, and this is the little little comment from me, a little talk about the uh, what you could put your possibilities, heart runes, and that combo. So you can check it out. I'll leave you a link in the description once again. Now back to the gear. You could you should probably run the leaping strike here instead of stab and get stab on the armor, but once again, this is what I got. When it comes to gems, you want to run both different rune glasses on the weapons because they stack. See, you can uh, you can see here I got electrified gambit. If I was to use the same gambit on my sword, then the dots would not stack. It's nothing too huge because the dot is only for two seconds. You're getting only one tick off, but eight percent uh, damage for one tick. Why not, right? Why not? So I'm running arboreal here, uh, electrified and arboreal. Uh, the reason for those is there is not no one is running a uh, nature or lightning. Uh, Resistances or gems, so that's why I go went with these. On armor, I am running full onyx for now. Uh, I might change it. These are my stats or resistances: fifteen percent slash, ten maybe strike and thrust, eight and a half fire, and two and a half arcane, and whatever and the rest of those. I have a problem against ice gauntlet, void gauntlet. Uh, that's a huge counter to my build for sure, as well as blunderbuss ice gauntlet. Insane! That build is almost unbeatable as a melee build. It's just crazy. Crazy. So with the new nerfs incoming, they promised 25 days ago. Um, I believe there is gonna be a huge mage meta, IGBB or whatever, just butter bus. So I might go uh, heavy on on elemental resistances, diamonds, malachites. We'll see. So I'm running stamina on hit. I know uh, you might think the punishing is the best that increases your damage on melee attacks, but punishing is not counting toward towards aim power cap. So it is not five percent. Like you should be getting from the whole set, or 10%, no, it's 5%. It is base damage, which means it's lower than that. In reality, it is 2% damage increase from all these gems on armor if you're on punishing. So that's not just it's just not worth it at all. So I did go for stamina on hit, and I can tell you it's much, much better. We got the crit on hit stamina, 10 stamina from hatchet. So this goes hand in hand. We got adrenaline rush as well from the hatchet, where your dodge is uh you know, it costs less if you dodge after using ability. Heart rune. Now I have two cannon blasts. You will see it in the clips. This is the great combo. When you reverse step someone, the stagger from that attack skill lasts long enough where you can squeeze in this cannon. The target has a no it is, is cannot really cannot dodge from reverse step stagger. So there is no way you can protect himself from this blast. Unless it's a berserk user with that or active grit, then you know. You can easily dodge that. But I love that combo. I did try a second heart rune cannon. This one has lower damage, but it knocked down the targets. And this is the... I don't really like this one that much because a good player always can... If you're knocked down the target, you can, you can just dodge away from that. You will fly in the air, but before you hit the ground, you can just dodge away, which means you cannot follow up with the combo. But you will see, I can pull it up sometimes here and there in the clips. And if you do this, I always follow up with animation cancel, berserk into fell rush. Pretty damn sweet. You could run a stalwart hard form, a uh, stalwart stone form that heals you to be, you know, absolute tank, giga chat, survive through everything. Get healed up or second one where you stack with the uh, fortify here. Because damage reduction, because here you lose damage by 20% while you're getting healed, but using the defensively, amazing. You can even use this defense, uh, offensively. You could go with detonate as well. Set up with your shield bash, uh, and then you use detonate into reverse tap stagger to delete everyone. You could, you could do that too, but I like cannon because it's uh, it's fun. It's fun, I like to do that. You'll see in the clips, it's just so satisfying. You could even go with the hot runes uh, of the roots here. I do have leeching ones. You could get even the Bile Bomb against healers. This is actually what I'm running. You can just spit Kavit on them. In arenas especially. Oh man, some matches in arenas against healers. Oh, that's so bad. With leaderboards, everyone will see that. 
consumables. If you're running uh, in the melee, uh, sorry, against uh, yeah, like melee builds, melee combo in arenas, you go with Oak Flesh for physical. If you're running uh, into Mage Squad, you go with Gemstone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you see HP potion, uh, you get the Regent potion as well. Don't forget, Regent potion dispels your debuffs. It's in random order, but if you have one or like Rent, for example, for 40, uh, from Birthright or Armor Baker, just go with the, just prep, pop this bad boy, boom, rent gone. Or net shot, the slow, or stamina regen. Hardy meal, uh, if you need to heal up in LOS with Berserk, or just hardy meal itself, you just use this to heal up. Oh, uh, that was, sorry, I had to get rid of the playing button up top. So these are the consumables, you use Honing Stone for damage increase here. Now, Desert Sunrise. I know some people are using this powerful incense, but this is only for PvE. Afflictions are, uh, well, according to New World, uh, like overall in the in the files, Dana Mines, there is a bleed and poison. I don't know how that works, but this affects corruption and uh, blight. So this is for Genesis and just, you know, Tempest, whatnot, where is corruption? You want to run this, because they both stack. Incense and Desert Sunrise, they stack. You want to run this, this is reduce, reducing the duration of dots by 17.5%. This is absolutely huge against mages, flamethrowers, whatnot. Tondo users with the Rapier, with the Bleed builds, Skewer, Keenly Jacked. Almost everyone can run Keenly Jacked, you name it. Very powerful. And then the, the attribute food. I have Carrot Cake, it's the cheapest one. It hits the target attributions I need. And there we go. Now, when it comes to combos, um, you will see it in the, in the videos. I would probably leave it at that, but it's pretty much Leaping Strike. After Leaping Strike, I know it staggers, but a couple patches ago, they nerfed it where the stagger does not last long enough so you can bash someone. So you do Leaping Strike, you wait for the target to roll launch, you press, you press Shield Bash, go behind their back, dodge into Reverse Tap, into Animation Cancel Berserk. I uh, just messed it up, but you get the point. Or you can just, you know... There, I did it. Animation against the uh, Berserk into light, light attack. I like to uh, tap it three times. Three light attacks. Um, and then dodge. Because it takes two. Sometimes two. But maximum three attacks to get your stamina to 100. Right? So you can you could dodge forever basically. But also you want to you know syn synchronize your dodges with enemy attacks. So you can dodge through it. And you can activate chicken fortification. The fortify. Which stacks as well. We got four of these bad boys, so amazing 16% almost. 45 right there. We also have 45 from Hatchet here. And our 15%, that's 31% 45. Now, with this passive, if you have attunement on your weapon, attunement counts as a light attack. So this passive says three light attacks to trigger this buff, but all you, all you need is just two attacks. Watch. One, two. Oh, they nerfed it. No shot. No shot, this is new. Okay, okay. I'm surprised then. That's a stealth nerf right there. Nice AGS. Nice. I mean, not nerf, fix. But anyways. We probably talk about everything. Now, when it comes to your heart runes uh, with the damage detonate, for example, you want to use that when you have Berserk active because all damage... El all damage buffs and power and power ones uh, apply to this heart room. And yeah, I would like to thank you all for watching. I will also have a link a uh, animation cancel berserk video and uh, right up a corner right here. There are like three ways you can cancel it through, as you could see here, with a, a dodge into berserk light attack cancel and a dodge after that as well. It was intermediate cancel. There is a cancel with a skill as well. Just uh, dodge into Berserk and Fellow Rush, Raging Torrent. It's up to you which you're running. Or there is a weapon swap cancel, as you could see uh, me use that on the dummy right there. But yeah, straight to PvP clips. And thank you all for watching. I wish you good luck getting the items and especially with the combos because sometimes it's really tricky, man. Like those teammates breaking your stuns with that left click, light attack, especially healers. Oh my goodness, that thing is very, very painful. I talk to you soon and good luck. Peace out. Here's the big dog. Get him. <laughs>
Can on Kobe, baby. That's the most satisfying thing in this game. What? Shield back? Got him, coach. Let's go. Got him, coach. Good old reverse step, stagger into Kai. What are you doing here, Shoju? Sho what are you doing, Shoju? He's dead. You just uh, throw and root, Olga. No HP, burnout, sure. Go, little Kobe. <laughs> can you just slow big dog? Can you just rent? With the wolf fucking caught it? Oh my god. How many, how, yo, how many fanboys do we have here? Hi, Hives, you need to join, man. You need to take some of these fanboys on your ass. <laughs> can you just big dog? Can you just as well? <laughs> big Danny Pig as well? Ah, oh, I got the... Probably why me? Wolf, why me? Four people. They're free, man. Stupid rock, man. Stupid rock. Bro, we breaking some ankles, though. A little, tri little trip to the beach, eh? Can we kill this guy? Mm -mm. Press X for doubt. Nope. Oh, Sam. I'm kidding. We got these boys. We got him. What's up, Jeff? That stone for fuck me, man. I think I can get a nice uh, execution on my, on my uh, combo, wombo, but... <laughs> Bro, we're really stab with the stagger into cannon blast? Biss. Beast man. Cannon. Oof. Get him, tips. Get him. Blast him away. Nice one, man. All right, two down. That damage, man. Oh my god. Nice sleeping strike, bro. Put this fucking what's it called? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No potion. No potion. I'll get dots. Why are they following? Billions of people following me. Hello. Bye. Don't worry, I'll take one with me, man. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, I got some recovery here. I got some reinforcements. I like that. I like that. Why are you running? Why are you running? Incinerate? Oh, come on, cozy. Nice one, Key Summerby. He uh, actually locked and loaded. He connected. I like that. He doesn't know. He has no fucking clue. Oh, he has no idea. Bro, he has no idea. Oh, group healer and a step then. Sure, man. I see two, three muskets. Is this four muskets in this game? Mm. 
Two muskets down. Actually, three. Am I looking at mus a musket and fire style? Okay. Dagger from Color Rush didn't happen there, or what's up? Gage is big dog. Gage is well. Oh, he dodged it. Professional. Let's break some ankles. Let's break some down them ankles. Tap, tap. Nope. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Jiggy. That's what I'm talking about. For these boys, these boys, uh, they want, they want the blood.